Hi all, welcome at another MR Explained. I am Kelly Ducker, I'm the product manager of MR at Metis. And today I would like to show you how we can do easily a function analysis. So for that, let's go to the program. So here you will see our patient's browser. We can simply click on one or another and see the different series in here. We can load the patient in total. We can drag and drop different series in, for example, the short axis. We can double click to make it bigger and I can watch all the different slices at the same time. Can zoom in here with this bar or go back to the one slide in here. So we'll click to see all the others. As you can see, there are also reference lines and reference points based on the current slides. If I scroll through it, you will see that the reference line and point will update based upon that. So if I want to do a function analysis, I can right mouse button click on the short axis and go to the QMAS application. Actually in the back while the data was entered in our system it had been scanned and checked if there has been any short axis data available and based upon that it had done our deep learning control detection uh, on that specific series and then it created an auto queue file as you can see here in here uh, and while opening this data set, the program automatically recognized this series and showed here the contours that are drawn based upon um, for the right ventricle and left ventricle for ED and ES. Um, and depending on your settings, you can choose that by default, both the LV and RV both have the same ED and ES, or that it may differ like it, it's the case in this one. Uh, if you want, you can also, with uh, drag and dropping in, you can also load all the counters for all time points. Um, now for, to check all your counters, we simply can scroll through there. And also through here. And if needed, modify. Maybe a bit smaller in here. Based upon that, you will automatically already see your values here below. So dejection fraction for both LV and RV, but also stroke volume and mass of the LV are depicted in here. All of these items will go, or all of these results will go to your report. In this case, because of the anonymization, I see that um, no normal values have been selected. So we can go to the function analysis tab and select here for now a random normal value. Um, normally, when you enter your data, both age and gender are known. And based upon that, the corresponding normal values will be depicted. Or if you prefer a specific paper, you can also use different other paper other papers for that. So now if we go into our report, you will see that also uh, the normal values are depicted behind and if one is out of the range, it will be shown here in red. Just to make it a bit prettier, let's remove the mass of the RV since we didn't draw there any counters. And this report can then be exported to any location that you have set up. Thanks for watching. I hope to, that this has been helpful and I hope to see you on the next video as well. Don't forget to sign up on either our LinkedIn page or our YouTube channel. Thank you.